because I'm on my phone, you see, because my laptop is not playing the game tonight. Can you all see me okay? Because obviously I'm not in a, I'm in a portrait mode, not in a, I don't know what you can see. Anyway, hi. <laughs> Whatever, hi. Pilates, yay. I made it, finally. Okay, um, I think we're just going to sit down, to be honest with you. Oh, it looks better. Better than what? Better than normal. Don't say that. It looks better than normal. Um, okay. Might as well, hold on. Let me move you down here. We might start on the floor. Yes. Let's start on the floor. There we go. Okay. So welcome everybody to Pilates and Mindfulness. I'm 100% starting this session with a mindful minute. I love floor. I love floor too. <laughs> I love floor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I need this mindful minute. I don't know about you guys, but uh, yes, I've been having technology, technology issues. So sitting as comfortably as you can on the surface that you are on, wherever that is, however that looks and feels for you. Um, you might want to lean against something to support your back, or you might want to bring yourself up nice and tall. You might want to sit on something like a pillow or a cushion if you're not in a chair. Okay, and just rest your arms in your lap, however you feel comfortable. Draw your shoulders down. We're just going to close our eyes and take some nice, long, deep, mindful breaths. Long, deep breath in through the nose. Let's hold it at the top. And then release out through the mouth. And just hold it at the bottom. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Hold it. Exhale, release. And hold it. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Hold it. And exhale, release, and hold it. So just keep that breath pattern going in your own time. And what I want you to really focus on, on the in-breath, we're focusing on lifting. And on the out-breath, we're focusing on releasing and softening, especially the shoulders and the jaw. Really feeling that grounding from wherever we're sitting. So... The moments of silence, those moments where you're holding your breath at the top and at the bottom of your breath. I want you to try and just be still, be silent, and just see how you feel in those moments of silence and stillness. Just follow your breath. And I'm going to stop talking for a little bit so that you can concentrate on your breath on your body and those moments of silence. Lovely. Well done, everybody. And while we're all sitting nice and calmly, quietly, I'm going to ask you guys if you want to do an internal weather check before we start some movement in our bodies. So if your thoughts, feelings, emotion had a weather forecast, what would the weather be like for you right now? So I don't know if you're happy, it might be sunny. If you're angry, it might be stormy. Those kind of things, but don't try and think about it too much. Just see what comes up for you in your mind, in your body, in your feelings. And maybe you might visualize something as well. I'm going to sound the singing bowl to mark the beginning of the minute. And just think about, well, don't think about anything. Just see where you go. See where you go with the weather forecast. Yeah. And then I'll sound it again at the end of the minute. So eyes closed.
and start to open your eyes. Wriggle your fingers and toes and just circle those shoulders back. And remember, whatever came up for you, however you're feeling, whatever weather came up for you, whether it was felt good or it might not have felt so good, remember, the sky can hold all of the weather and the weather is always changing. So much like the sky can hold all the weather, we, us as humans, we can hold all our feelings and emotions and they're always changing all the time. So just remind yourself of that. Okay. Lovely. Let's just circle those shoulders backwards. Lovely. And let's put our hands on. We can do, do it with the hands on the shoulders. Draw the belly in and lift and lengthen through the top of your head. And let's circle forwards. Let's extend the arms and the fingers. And keep lifting. I don't want anyone sitting like this. Yeah, I want you to sit up as tall as you can. Extend your fingers and let's circle backwards. Extend your fingers. Reach, 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 reach. Lovely. And shake it out. Good. Taking the hands down to the left hand side, depending on where you're sitting, a chair or the floor. And we're going to lean over and just get some movement through the body. We're exhaling down and we're inhaling up. Now, those of you that are live today, because I'm on my phone, I can't see you all in one go. So um, I'm probably not going to be doing as many teaching cues as I normally do. I would switch back over to my laptop, but I'm kind of just going to keep going. We're in the zone. I'm just going to keep with this. So <laughs> lovely. Let's hold it to one side. Reach and twist. Keep the breath going, use your breath. And release down, let's go the other side. Reach and twist. Lovely, and coming down. Bring your legs up and just give them a good shake, a good wobble. Excellent, excellent, good. Okay, let's come on to all fours. So if you're seated, grab a partner or a wall and you're going to push against somebody. If you're able to come onto the floor on all fours, then please do. So you want your knees under your hips and your hands underneath your uh, sh shoulders. And we're going to take big circles. So we're going to win. Actually, do you know what I want to do today? I want to do hearts. I want to do love hearts. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint a heart with our bodies. So we're going to inhale up and exhale down into child's pose and then inhale up the other side to make our heart. Does that make sense? So with your body, you're doing there and there. So rather than doing big circles, you're going to do little hearts. So up, round and down, up, round and down. Does that make sense? To try and get a circle going with a circle, a heart going with your body. You might want to choose a colour for your heart. And you're going to go one way and you're going to go the other way. So once you've done one way and you've done your heart, you're going to go the other way as well. Little hearts, big hearts, mobilising the body. Good. And then we're going to come down. Next, we're going to pretend like we're a snake. So we're going to roll through the spine. So we're going to come into child's pose. We're going to inhale up. And we're going to ripple all the way through. And then just drop the hips down, shoulders down and away. Yeah. Tuck the toes under. And we're going to ripple back, bottom up, and back through into child's pose. So we're going to inhale up, ripple through, shoulders down, and then tuck the toes under, bottom up, and then back down to the knees, release the toes. Yeah, so kind of getting your body ripple through, so we're inhaling, rippling up, hips down, shoulders down, tuck the toes under, Wee, back up we go, and release, and relax. Good, good, good. Stretching out the arms here. And then we're going to thread the needle. So you're going to take your left arm underneath your right. 
and just take a little lie down on it. Not, don't want to put your whole weight on it. Good, and then the other side. Right arm, thread the needle and bring it down. Lovely. Okay, let's come on to our backs now. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do shoulder bridge. Shoulder bridge. Just get my notes for this evening. Okay. So I might have to go back and never I'm gonna get my whole body in. Am I? Just about. <laughs> Just about got my body in. All right. So hands to the floor, feet in line with your knees. So we don't want to be like that. That's it. Okay. Whoops. And we're gonna we're going to um, just rock the spine. So we're going to just tilt the pelvis. Little spine rocks. Hands on the floor. Relax the shoulders. So we're going to warm up the spine by doing this shoulder bridge. We did a little bit of a warm up there on all fours. So we're going to do another one here. So we're going to inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you're going to press your lower back into the floor. Press your feet onto the floor, and you're going to peel your spine off bone by bone. And you're going to come up into a shoulder bridge. You're going to inhale here. And you're going to exhale, heel back down. So bone by bone from the top all the way to the bottom. And then when you get to the bottom, you're going to inhale and release your bum. Because you might be clenching your bum cheeks. Inhale, release. Exhale, peeling off. Up we come. And inhale. Back down we go. There we go. Good. Let's go again. I did the breath wrong on that one. Exhale, tuck under, peeling off, just to be really confusing. Sorry, guys. We inhale at the top and we exhale back down, belly to spine. Draw your pelvic floor in. So engage your pelvic floor on the way down. And then inhale, release the pelvic floor, release the stomach muscles. Exhale, engage, peeling off. Lovely. So when we're here, if you are able to, we can have a go extending one leg out at a time. So you want to transfer your weight. Oh, I can see some of you rushing up already. No, 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 no. Just wait a second. Transfer your weight to the left leg. And then we're going to extend the right leg. Point and inhale back down. Exhale, extend the left. Point nice and slowly and back down. You want to try and keep your hips up. If you need to, you can create a little perch with your hands. Exhale, extend and lower. Good, keep it going. And then at the top, you're gonna to inhale and exhale, roll your spine back down again, bone by bone by bone. Good. And then just wobble the legs out because that would have been quite intense. Wobble, 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 wobble. Shake the legs in the air. Oh, that feels lovely. Okay, next. Um, what was that one I wanted to do? Oh, yeah, these are a good one. Okay, so left leg in the air. So if you're in a chair, so Juan, if you can do this exercise exactly the same way, if you're, you're lying back on today, yes. So you can work with Lucy on trying to get your leg up as high as you feel comfortable. And what we're going to try and do, so we're all going to have a go at this. Grant, you can have a go at this as well if it works for you. So up in the air, we're going to point the toes, or toes, yeah, on the left foot. And we're going to exhale, push up. So we push up into shoulder bridge, but one leg, and then lower back down again. Try and get that leg straight, Steph, if you can. Is that Steph? Yes. So <laughs> exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. You're really going to be working this leg on the, on the floor. Good. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Difficult, isn't it? Inhale. Try and relax the shoulders. Good. Couple more. Excellent. And then let's release it. That's quite intense on that 
right leg, isn't it? Release it and shake it out. And then we're going to do the other side. So left foot down, right foot up. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Point the toes. Keep that leg straight. Good guys. Woo! You okay, Jenny? It's quite intense on that leg. Shake it out if you need to. We're going to do a good hamstring stretch in a minute because that was <laughs> that is intense, isn't it? Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, good. Next, you might want to rest your... I'm going to rest my head on my block. You might want to do the same or put a pillow underneath your head. Is up to you what you decide to do. Okay. So next, we are gonna do some leg circles. It's the same thing again, we'll do the other side this time. So keep the left foot down and the right foot up. And we're gonna do very, and actually switch sides, left foot, right, left foot down, right foot up, very small circles to start with. Inhale up, exhale down. Doesn't matter which way you're going to start with, just, just get the, the circles going. But the movement wants to come from the hip. You want to get the movement from the hip joint. Inhale up and exhale down. Now, as you do this, if you're able to keep your core and center stable, you might want to make that circle a bit bigger. That's quite difficult for me to go too big. So I'm going to keep mine quite small. But the slower you do it, the more control you're going to have over the circle. <laughs> I'm tempted to draw hearts. Should we try hearts instead? I don't know why I've got hearts on my mind today. Love hearts. So we're going to go one way and the other way. Whoop. Little hearts on the ceiling. Whoop. Whoop. Good. And then shake that leg out. Whoop. Other side. Foot down and right. Raise that foot up. All right, let's start with little circles to start with. Very small circles. Extend the leg, point the toe. Relax the shoulders. Exhale to come up. Inhale to come down. Maybe you can start to make them a little bit bigger, but the movement comes from the hips. You don't want to start losing the body, wobbling the body. And then if you want, try little hearts, little love hearts, and then go the other way, love hearts. So go one way. <laughs> And then the other way. Imagine you're drawing them on the ceiling with your toes or the wall if your leg's not so high. Good work. Okay, shake it out. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Dead dance. Okay, happy baby, anyone? Grab the inside of your feet. <laughs> it's really attractive position. But it's a super nice stretch, especially for the groin and the glutes and the hips. Really good for circulation as well. For your airways. If you can't get your legs up, then just bring your knees to your chest and you can do it that way as well. All right, cool. Next, we're going to do some, some ab and leg work. So legs up to the ceiling, point the toes, turn your toes out and keep your heels together, arms by your sides, head and shoulders off. We're going to do little crisscrosses. Scoop the belly in. Now you don't have to take the legs down because I want you to, the most important thing is keeping your back flat on the floor. If your back starts to lift like mine's done here, you can get your hands underneath, you're pulling your back out and you don't want to do that. So let's keep going. Then we inhale. So you can do little leg lowers and little leg raises. But don't take them too far because you don't want that back to come off. Inhale to lower a little bit and exhale to bring it up. Turn those toes out. Inner thighs doing the work. Do, 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 do. 
Make sure your shoulder blades are pressed into the floor. All right, rest it out. Good, circle off your feet. Well done. <laughs> well done. All right, let's do um, the box split or straddle ones. They're quite fun. So legs come up and we turn them out again. But this time we flex our feet. So we bring our toes towards us, head and shoulders off. We open, bounce it, inhale, inhale, and then click our heels together. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale to open, exhale, exhale to close. So you're drawing the inner thighs together. If you want to make it more challenging, just take the legs a little bit further down, like more of an angle. But again, make sure your lower back is pressed into the floor. Engage your shoulder blades into the floor as well and looking at your knees. So we inhale, inhale, and exhale, shh, shh, exhale as we click our heels together. Keep the legs as straight as you can. It's an intense one, draw the belly in. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, and rest. Woo! Circle those legs off. Good, good. Okay, we're gonna do um, spine peels, and then we'll have a little, I think we'll have a little leg stretch, because I've been quite intense on the legs. So we're gonna do spine peels. Now these are quite, this is a very small exercise, but it can be quite challenging to do. So the first thing I want you to do is relax your shoulders. So let the shoulders just relax, relax, relax. And I find if I hold my shoulders, that helps. We're going to point our toes and we're going to inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to think about peeling our spine off. Now, don't worry if your bottom doesn't lift up. It's quite difficult to get the bottom up. And we don't want to tense the shoulders. So, as, so can you see I've tensed my shoulders as I've lifted up? We want to really try and relax those shoulders to bring the legs towards us. Also, we want to try and avoid throwing the legs around. Yeah, we don't want those legs flying around. The momentum is not coming from the legs. It's coming from your abs. It's coming from your core. Exhale. Whew, difficult. Good. If you've got your block, remove your block. And you can take your arms above your head. Some of you might be able to get your bottom all the way off and back down again. But don't worry if you can't. So arms above the head. We're going to move down a little bit. Legs up. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. See if you can peel whoop, to get your bottom off. Inhale and then exhale to peel back down again. You might even be able to take the legs a little bit lower at an angle, but make sure that your lower back doesn't lift. And then exhale. And inhale and exhale back down again. So you can do a few of those. You should feel it in your stomach muscles and not in your back. If you're feeling, oh, I can't do it. If you're feeling any niggles in your back, you're doing too much work in your back and not enough in your stomach. Now, you don't, if you can't get your legs over your head, that's absolutely fine. Just work on leg lifts, these little leg lifts like this, like we were doing before. Yeah? Inhale, last. Let's do one more because my stomach's killing me now. <laughs> you guys can keep going if you want. I'm going to do one more. Woo! Okay, let's stretch out our bellies. So bring your legs down and let's stick our bellies out. Everyone get your belly out. <laughs> stick it up to the ceiling. Belly, belly, belly. Up to the ceiling. Good. Okay, nice one, guys. All right, I'm going to grab my block again. We're going to stretch up hamstrings because a lot of those exercises we did then we're quite intense on the hamstrings oh, and the abs. We'll do, a, we'll do a belly stretch as well because that was quite intense on the belly. All right. So um, take the left leg up and just hold on to either the hamstrings, the back of your thigh or your calf. And just circle the ankle one way and circle the ankle the other way. And just draw it towards your body very gently. No one should be pulling or po po pulling or poking. 
pulling or bouncing or forcing your leg towards you. You want to try and get your legs straight. If your leg's bent, just move it further away, but try and get it straight. If your leg is straight, you can draw it nearer towards you. Just breathe through. With each out breath, try and relax into the stretch a little bit more. Good, and then let's switch. Actually, before we switch sides, let's cross it over the right knee and we're gonna do a nice um, glute stretch. So left foot over right knee and then take the left hand through. And again, just try and relax into the stretch. You should feel this in your left bum cheek. You can do this from seating. You can cross your leg over the other one if you're sitting in a chair. Exactly the same thing. Relax the shoulders. With each out breath, just try and relax that further into it. Maybe even draw the knee a little bit nearer if you can. Excellent. Okay, let's try the other side. So right leg comes up. We're going to hold behind the right hamstring. We'll just circle the foot off. You can even hold behind the calf. But remember, we don't want the leg bent. We want the leg straight. So bring it further away and straighten it. And then each time you're feeling like you can accentuate the stretch, you can draw it a little bit nearer. But we don't want that knee bending. Yeah, you want to keep the leg straight the whole time. And we want to relax into the stretch. So each out breath, relax and soften. Good. And then let's cross that right knee over. Right hand goes through the hole, grabs hold of your left leg. And we draw our leg towards us. If you're feeling that it's really tight, just keep breathing with it. Using the breath, soften and relax. Excellent. Okay, shake those legs out and then roll back over to a seated position. Okay, lovely. Let me see where we're going next. Let's do, yeah, let's do some standing leg work. All right, so coming on to all fours, tuck the toes underneath and just rock backwards and forwards. Relax the head. Relax the shoulders. Heels down, hips up. If you're seated, you're just gonna roll up in your seat. And if you're standing, you're gonna roll up to stand. Head's the last thing to come up and I just need to do a little bit of adjusting here. Maybe I'll adjust to here. Uh, 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 uh. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on. And that's it. Okay, fabulous. Let's um, let's get into some strength and balance then. So um, we were working last week. We've been doing lots of sort of ballet type moves, haven't we? Like getting our strength in our legs and our knees. So feet together, or heels together, toes turned out. And we're going to do little plies and rises. So with these plies. We don't want this to happen. We want to keep our body nice and straight. So we inhale lower, and we exhale rise. Inhale lower and exhale rise. If you want to find, do a little posture check first. We haven't done a posture check today, so you can tilt forwards and backwards. Just make sure your hips are lined up with your sacrum like a bowl of water. So we want to remember that bowl of water. So we don't want that water to tilt as we do our plie. We want that water to stay upright the whole time as we do our plie. Yeah. 
So we're going to inhale, lower. Let's take the arms to here and then back up again. So we inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Draw the belly in, bottom to the floor. So every time we plie, we want to imagine someone's pulling us up from our head, even though we're bending our knees. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. You should feel this in your calves, your inner thighs your glutes, and then maybe we can inhale, take the arms up, and as we exhale, we rise, bring the arms down. Can we hold it here? Can we go round again with our, on, a, on, a, on a tiptoes? And then bring the arms down to the beginning again. So we inhale, plie, all the way up. Exhale, rise, the arms come down. We go around again. Inhale, take it up. And exhale, lower. Let's go again. Inhale, plie, the arms come all the way up. Exhale, the arms come down. We rise. We hold it. We inhale, take it up. And we exhale, lower, back down. Let's go again. Inhale. And exhale, we rise, and we exhale, keep it going, inhale, we exhale, we inhale, and we exhale, let's go one more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, Oh, I'm doing too many. And exhale. Good. Shake it out. Well done. Quite a powerful one. Lots of thinking involved in that one. It's a bit like, oh, where does that go? Does that go here? Does that go there? All right. Let's do some um, strength and balance on one leg now. So we're going to inhale. Leg forwards and exhale back in again. So inhale, arms out, leg out, exhale, back in. Same thing. Yeah. And back in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. This time, we're going to bring the leg up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Leg comes up on the exhale. Inhale and exhale. Got it? Slide it. Lift it. Arms come down. Inhale and exhale. What we're trying, what we're trying to avoid is you, taking our weight onto that front leg. We want to keep it on the back leg the whole time. Yeah? See, so exhale, arms come down, legs come up. Inhale and exhale. Shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. Woo, I lost it then. Inhale. I need to take my own advice. So if that just happens to you like it happens to me, don't take the legs so high. Keep it a little bit lower. Good. Let's switch sides. So we're going to inhale. Just start. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep the body upright. Keep those toes turned out. Inhale, exhale. Also, I'm noticing I'm leaning back a little bit. You want to try and avoid doing that too. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, let's lift. Arms come down, leg comes up. And everything comes back. In. Okay. Lifting. Come back in. Inhale, exhale. Good, guys. Really good. Couple more if you can. I'm gonna face you so I can see you all. And if it's too much to do it all at the same time, just do the arms or just do the legs. Good, all right. And shake it out. Shake it all about. Have a little shake, shake. Have a little shake, 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 shake. Right, next, 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 next. Let's do some spirals, because we like some spirals, don't we? So with our spirals, we want to get the balance and balance in place first. If you lose your balance, don't do such big spirals. So we're going to stand on our left leg to start with. We're going to inhale, and um, inhale, drive it back. Exhale, come through, and inhale back to the center. Exhale, drive it through, and inhale, back to the center. 
Try and get the arms in front and the leg behind. And then if you've got your balance, you can maybe open the arms out and come back to the center. So you take them forwards, out, and back to the center. If you're losing your balance, try and just keep the arms going forwards and backwards, okay? Should we switch legs? Let's switch legs. The same thing again. In, exhale, come through, and inhale back to the center. Exhale, come through into your spiral. Inhale back to center. Make sure your standing leg is um, soft. And you can maybe take the arms through. Big circles. You want to keep the hips facing the floor as well. So you don't want those hips going wandering. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. All right, let's do some um, gravity blocks. Let's do some lateral twists. So upper body twists. So place the block between your thighs. And then what we're going to do, we'll do the lateral twists. Then we'll do some good old fashioned roll downs to planks. And then we will, if we've got time, we'll do a little bit of relaxation at the, at the end again, like just a mindful breathing, just to connect back with our body and our breath. So we'll see how we get on for time. I always run over. I'm going to try my hardest not to run over tonight. Um, because, yes, I'm just going to try not to run over tonight. All right. <laughs> so block between the thighs. Headlights on our hips. We're going to imagine we've got headlights on our hips and they are shining. Beep, beep, beep. Shining forward. <laughs> yeah. So the way that Jenny's demoing it is what I want you to not do. So we don't want this around the room. We don't want this happening. We want to keep the headlights shining forwards, okay? Mostly because we don't want to twist our knees, yeah? And also because we want to get the ab workout. So upper body twists and lower body stays still. Hands behind the head, shoulders down, eye gaze up and forwards. Inhale to prepare. And we exhale, twist the upper body only. Round two, your right. And the inhale, we twist back to the center. Exhale, upper body only round to the left. And inhale back to the center. And we take very small twists. And what you should feel is your ab abdominals working, especially the oblique muscles, the sides of the abs working. Good, Grant. That's it. Nice, Stephanie. Really nice control, Jenny. Shoulders down. If you have got shoulder issues, this is too intense for you. You can bring the arms by your sides. Okay, keep those hips facing forwards, guys. <laughs> well done, everyone, and shake it out. Good, so that's quite a, quite a difficult workout, especially for the shoulders and the arms. We're going to move back so you can see my, my whole arms now. So we're going to take the arms nice and wide, shoulders down, same thing again. Extend those arms, extend the fingers. Try and get your shoulder blades to have a smooch. They might not meet completely. I don't need to meet them completely. Imagine they're trying to kiss each other. Inhale, twist round to the left, right, sorry, and inhale back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale back to the center. Keep those hips facing forwards. Exhale, twist, and inhale, center. Exhale, twist, and inhale, center. Remember your pelvic floor, guys. So keep going. I'm going to demo as you keep going. So you keep doing the twist. As you exhale, you engage your pelvic floor. And as you inhale, you release it. As you exhale, you engage it. And as you inhale, you release it. So as you twist on the exhale, you engage pelvic floor. As you twist back to the center on the inhale, you release. As you twist, you engage. As you twist back, you release. Yeah? Lovely. Okay, shake it out. Well done, everyone. Release your block from your legs, and we're going to do some roll downs to planks. So let's stand at the back of our mats. Um, we don't need the block. You might need the block to spot yourself at the bottom, so keep it nearby. If you're sitting in a chair, then just um, you do your roll downs and roll ups in the chair, and you plank with your partner or plank with the wall. All right, so neutral spine, and we inhale, take the arms up. And we exhale, bring them down by our sides. We bring our chin to our chest. We scoop our belly in. We soften our knees and we roll down bone by bone by bone. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee. And if you're sitting in a chair, you can just rock side to side from the right to the left if you're relaxing the body forwards. 
have some lovely stretches here. If you need the block, you can rest the block on the floor to support you with this, these stretches if you need that extra support. And then we inhale and we exhale, walk out to plank, hands under the shoulders, head in line with the spine, bottom in line with the shoulders. If you need to, bring your knees down. You can plank on your fists and you can plank on your forearms. So we hold these planks in through the nose and out through the mouth, draw the shoulder blades together, strength and flexibility meeting each other in this exercise. Inhale and exhale, either bring the knees down or push back into triangle and walk back to your feet. Relax, bend the right knee, bend the left knee. We're going to have a little stretch here. So straighten the left leg and inhale, twist up to the ceiling on the left and then bring your left arm, your right, left arm round your back. And then we relax down, let's switch sides, straighten the right leg. Inhale, twist up. Exhale, take that arm behind. And then release down, we're gonna go straight back out to plank again. Walking out on the out breath, in through the nose and out through the mouth, shoulders down, head in line with the spine, draw the belly in. Remember, bring your knees down if you need to rest or you're feeling like you're straining, which you shouldn't. You might need to inhale and exhale, push back, walk your hands back to your feet, hold it here, inhale, scoop the belly and exhale, rolling up bone by bone, shoulders down, inhale, take the arms up, exhale, arms to your sides, chin to chest, down we go, scooping the belly in, bend the right knee, Bend the left knee, let's twist, straighten the left leg, inhale, take the arm up. Take it round the back and up. Bend both knees, inhale, twist up. Exhale, we're we'll going around to the right this time. And inhale up and then back down. Let's walk out to plank again. Hold it, in through the nose. Out through the mouth, draw the shoulder blades down, draw the belly in. Head in line with the spine. Excellent, bring your knees down, release your toes and sink down into child's pose and just rest here for a minute. Feel free to take the arms around the sides of the body and just relax them there. Using your breath to massage your spine. So you might want to open your knees a little bit wider as well if you want to. So breathing up and into your rib cage. You can turn your head to the side if you want. Imagining your rib cage is opening and smiling and releasing and sighing. Good. And then coming up to a seated position. All right, fabulous guys. Let's finish off with our uh, hip stretch again. So we'll get into, we started off with the hips and we will finish with them again. So we warmed up with them and this time we're gonna try and release with them. And then we'll all come together at the end and you guys can let me know how you got on. Okay, so right hand to the side of the body. We're gonna inhale, take it up and exhale, bring it down. Inhale, take it up the other side, and exhale, bring it down. So this time you should feel a lot more free and fluid with these movements, because our bodies are really, really warm, they've worked out, so it's a lovely releasing stretch now. You should especially feel it through the sides of the body as we move through. We're gonna hold it, whichever side you're at, just hold it. Keep both bum cheeks on the floor, and twist, look underneath your arm. And then exhale, take it down. Let's go to the other side. We're going to reach up and twist. And exhale, take it down. So here we're going to walk the hands down. We're going to stretch out our glutes. We're going to stretch out our thighs, our groin, the inner thigh, the whole hip pelvic area. If you're upright here, that's fine. Just take it as low as you feel comfortable. We're going to focus on breathing into where it feels tight. And then as we breathe out, we're going to tell that spot to release and relax. We're going to use our breath to help us with this stretch.
And then we're slowly going to walk up, bone by bone, head's the last thing to come up. Good, uncross the legs and switch over to the other side. So we're going to bring our legs over to the other side to cross them. Lovely, and we're going to do the same thing again. So just be mindful, this side might feel a little bit tighter. This is probably your least flexible side because it's the side you chose second to the other one. All right. Inhale up. Yes, I'm definitely tight this way. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. And just gently move through. Find opportunities and spaces to stretch and release and move and lengthen and breathe. Even if you're feeling tight and stiff, use this movement to loosen anything off that needs loosening, even if it feels like it's not loosening. <laughs> Maybe you're really finding that release enjoyable. Let's hold it to one side. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And the next side, let's hold it up. Twist, lengthen, use the breath. Coming forward, so let's gently walk down. So remember, you're gonna feel tighter this side, so just be careful. Be mindful of where that tightness is as you breathe in and as you breathe out, try and release and relax into that space. Let your breath guide you through it. And then slowly roll up bone by bone. Heads the last thing to come up. Excellent. Okay, let's shake those legs out. Shake, 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 shake. And just come back to a comfortable seated position. If you need to support yourself, like you can lean, if you're on the floor, you can lean back against something. If you're in a chair, you can lean back against something. It's entirely up to you. And we're just going to take our mindful minute again. We'll return back to the singing bowl in a moment. We're checking with our internal weather. So if you just want to get yourself comfortable and I'll guide you through it, we're just going to spend a couple of minutes on some mindful breathing and just seeing how we're all feeling. Okay, so getting as comfortable as you can on the surface that you're on, wherever you are, seated in a chair, on the floor, and closing your eyes. Just rest your hands in your lap wherever they feel comfortable. And we're going to connect with that breath, with our life source. Inhaling, lifting and lengthening. Exhaling, releasing and relaxing. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And we hold it. Exhale, release, relax and hold the breath again at the bottom. Just for a second or two. And then breathing in, hold it, hold it at the bottom. And what you're looking for, so keep that breath going, what you're looking for is those moments of silence, those moments of stillness at the top and the bottom of your breath. Lovely. Okay, the next sound you're going to hear is my singing bowl. And I want you to check in with your internal weather again. So notice what your internal weather is like right now. And I'll sound the bowl again to mark the end of the minute.
connecting back with your breath. And when you're ready, just gently opening your eyes. Circling the shoulders, maybe take the arms up. Have a nice stretch, arms behind the back. Have a nice stretch, reach up. And very, very well done, everybody. Thank you for your patience with my um, technology this evening. <laughs> and uh, well done to those on the recording. I shall see you all very soon. Those